this video we'll take you through how to collect data on the PDA and to send that data that's been collected up to the to the database. So I'm going to start with a brand new BSP project. The first thing I want to do is create my table. There's two things I can do. I can copy and paste it from my existing BEP like this. But I want to show you another feature of Bright Builder. I just go ahead and delete that now. What I can also do is I can import database tables that or that exist on a database. So I've got my MSSQL database uh, already running on this machine. So Bright Builder goes out and connects to that database. And it displays for me all, all of the database tables existing on, on that server. I'm just going to select table 1. So I've, I can also start up my table definitions that way. I'm going to start off with a brand new form. Which will have a list view on it. And I'll have a query with that table unconditionally giving me all the fields. So no conditions, all the fields. Query 1. So on my first form, I'm going, to, I'm going to display all of the records that I have stored on this database, stored, stored on the PDA database. Now I will use the auto form wizard on table one to give my to give me a brand new cursor form based on table one, and I would like to have data binding on this new form. And I'll add a sync rule to be able to upload data. So I've created, created my cursor form synchronization, my cursor form, and my query. All of the fields are automatically data bound. So I just need a button on the first form to take me to form 2. Sorry, the cursor form. Double click, open a form, form two, or cursor form again. Now we can run the application on, on the PDA. Okay, so we have a list, list view showing no data, so I'll go ahead and open, open the cursor form. I'll just go ahead and type in the ID field and and notice how the edit box here is being obscured by the, the, in, the software input panel. And so what I, what I should have done is I should have put my On the cursor form, I should have put the, on the layout, I should have put the uh, all these edit boxes above the blue line. The blue line corresponds to where the soft, the extent of the software input panel, when it's extended, comes to on the screen. Okay, so I can hit save, and I've created that record now, and so when I come back, it should display all of the records, but it doesn't, because I need what I need to do is I need to refresh the list view after it comes back from the cursor form, so I simply just need to go to form 1, expression, create an expression, I'll call it refresh list. And I just go to my list view control and call the refresh. So what this 
what this does is all, this will refresh the content and so I'll rerun the query after I've no, so I need to do that after that child form the cursor cursor form has come back to me and we get the opportunity in Bright Builder to, to do that when we look at the post close expression we can do the refresh list the post close expression will be run after, after the child cursor form is closed so I'm going to shut down my application and run it again there we can see Barney so I'm going to new Hit save. I've got two two records now. And come back, and my refresh is now working. Now we're ready to send this data back to the database. So we're going to use a sync rule driven by a synchronized button on form one to connect to Bright Server and send the data back. So I'll just shut down my application and return to Bright Builder here. So I need a bit more space here, so we'll just move that sideways, bring in a new button. Oops, let's make it a bit bigger. We'll call it sync. And we want it to run an expression. And we want to send our data to the server. We already have a sync rule that was created for us using the Autoform wizard to upload from client to server all of our all of our values. I can open the query from here to say, okay, is this unconditional going to send me all of the data records up to the server? So to synchronize, I simply need to go to a synchronizer object, a synchronizer object there. I need to enable my sync rule, double click on the question mark, and set to true. Now I want to run my form object, I want to show the synchronization dialog. And then I need to disable all my, I just, I just want to leave all my sync rules disabled after I finish up. And that's all I need to do on the PDA side of things to send the data back. So on my BEP side, we'll look at the BEP now. I have table one, I have no mappings, no scripts, so I just simply have a sync point, I have a database that is configured to talk to my SQL locally running SQL server. I have my table one, I have my arrow going from client to server. My server's already running, so I'm just going to go to my PDA again. I have my data, I hit the sync button. Data is now being sent. Hit the close. I go to my database and we have Betty and Barney in the database. So we've shown you how to collect data on the on the database. Oh sorry, on the PDA, and how we can use a sync rule and a pretty simple uh, data, data layout on the sync panel on the BEP to successfully send data to the database. Be sure to check out our other videos on brightexpress.com.